Drew McIntyre is somewhat of a poster boy for how to be successful in pro wrestling. I mean, it helps that he's massive, but that will only get you so far. And his sheer desire and his work ethic is something we can all learn from, both within wrestling and outside of it as well. He has, of course, been injured as of late, but that doesn't take away from anything that he's achieved from the past or what he will achieve in the future. And I think that Drew McIntyre is going to win the WWE title. Why? Ow. Here's why. If you've ever been fired from a job, just think how that makes you feel, especially if that job was one you loved and one you wanted to do for the rest of your life. It hurts, it's a bit like grieving, it's a bit like grieving the loss of a loved one as you have to try and come to terms with what just happened. You were riding high and the carpet was pulled out from underneath you, now you're falling back down. That is what happened to Drew McIntyre. He may not have been used in the way that he wanted to be, I'm pretty sure when he did get released he was just three man banding, but that's not the point. It takes an incredible amount of work to get to the WWE and he was there. As I've said before, you've got to be on the bench if you want to be in the game. Unfortunately, he got kicked off the bench and was told, never return. Well, no one said that, but you take my point. But you know what McIntyre did? He completely reinvented himself and he smashed it so hard on the indie scene that everyone started to take notice. I think he was one of the first guys to try and do that. And he started to portray himself and feel like he was a star. And what happened eventually? We all started to go, that mother is a star. It didn't matter what had come before. He was desperate to be in that spot, so he did everything he could to make sure he got there. Just go and look at that ICW reaction he gets when he made his surprise return appearance. That was it. That was the catalyst moment with that reaction and the way he held himself. Boom! We've got a player here. Talking about ICW, the man himself did recently go into their Hall of Fame. And I actually think that sums a lot of things up. One, it goes to show how much WWE does actually respect McIntyre now because he said himself that Triple H had said, you should go, make sure you're there in person. So he has some clout. And two, during that speech, he said, I'm going to be the first ever WWE Scottish-born world champion. And I truly believe he will be. Everything that he set his sights on ever since he got released has happened so why stop now? And this was all coming together in NXT before he got injured. He was the champ. He was going from strength to strength. He was having great matches. And I imagine if he hadn't have hurt himself, that would all still be continuing. There was no reason for it not to. There's even kind of a silver lining to that injury because the rumors do say he should be good to go again sometime after Mania. And what usually happens sometimes after Mania? You get call-ups. And who better to call up than a guy you've had on the main roster before and right now is better than ever. Exactly. And it really is a case of the past influencing the future, because we all remember the time that Vince McMahon strutted to the ring and said that Drew McIntyre was the future and that he was going to be a world champion one day. And Drew himself has said that he wasn't ready for it then, but what a lovely full circle it would be if he did do that and prove well. Maybe you weren't right right then, but right now, I'm the man. And maybe that's where Drew's motivation came from. The chairman of the board put all of his power behind him, and as of yet, it hasn't transpired. If it does transpire, Pretty cool story. And if it does, what an example he will have set. Now, we all know in 2018, WWE is no longer the be all and end all, but it's still the biggest fish in the pond, and most guys do want to end up there. But there is opportunity out there and opportunity to flip off your former employer by doing really well on the indie scene. You can make a name for yourself, and all of a sudden, people at Stanford Connect are like, oh man, maybe we made a mistake. So you can use that platform to either be a success in your right or make it back to the place you used to be. When you start thinking about it like that, you realize what a lovely place the wrestling world is these days. I'm sure there probably is somebody else and I can't think of them. However, I cannot think of somebody else that got fired and then came back to become the WWE Champion. So if Drew McIntyre does it, that's another ticks in his box. Or if there is, I bet they weren't in the position Drew was in. Drew was basically being treated like a jobber when he was let go. If he comes back to be a proper main eventer, I'm going to stand there and I'm going to fist pump until the end of time. And his work is out there for all to see. Go and watch anything or everything he did post-2014, once he did start smashing on the indie scene. It's all great, and it's all intense, and it's all top-level stuff. So, in short, not only do I want Drew McIntyre to win the world title, given what I just said, I now want him to win it in June 2018, because that would mark four years to the month that he got released, and what an incredible story that would be. I mean, that's not going to happen. There's no way. If he gets called up about, you know, April, May time, he ain't going to win the title in four weeks. That seems very unlikely, but when he does still do it, I will still be a happy man. I mean, not as happy as Drew, obviously, because he put in all the work and I just sat here and watched. But that's not the point. I like to see a success story. And right now, I think Drew McIntyre is on course for one hell of a success story. And let's say he doesn't win the WWE title for some crazy reason. Even getting back to that main roster with everything he's been through, what an achievement 
What a hero. Drew McIntyre, you legend. You are an inspiration to all pro wrestlers out there. At least that's what I think. Simon from What Culture. End the video. Now don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about Drew McIntyre and the WWE and the World Championship. Like, share, and subscribe. Head over to whatculture.com and read some articles and follow What Culture on Twitter. What Culture WWE. My name is Simon from What Culture. Remember, it's National Hood Week. No idea where this video is going live. National Hood Week doesn't even exist. I made it up. But either way, have a great day. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Aren't you a star? Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe below. And also, there's probably more content flowing up above my head. So why not check that out as well? Could be a laugh. Probably. Six out of ten.